Okay, this next one is gonna be my favourite repair of all time. Not. It's gonna be Joy Cons not connecting and overheating. Really? Or is it not charging the Joy Cons? Okay, that Joy Con rail isn't working. That Joy-Con isn't working. Let's have a look. And neither is that one. Okay. The one that is connected. Uh, is it going to charge a Joy-Con on that side? Nope. So it looks like there's no pair of getting to the Joy-Con rails I need to find one that's actually got some charging it but not too much charge and I don't know which ones have got um, I don't know which ones have got charging them I've got literally a shitload of them uh, right, that one's got that one's full damn it I need one that's like half full so I can see if it's charging a joy con um, that one looks like it's dead. So if the joy cons are dead, then it's not connecting them. Okay. Which means that there's no charge power getting to the joy cons. Okay. Well, does anyone know what that's going to be? When did you acquire, acquire that joy con fetish? Oh mate, they've just been building up for months. I've got like seven different sets. Joy con rails ribbons. Nope. Because apparently it's overheating as well. And it does say on the ticket that new joy cons have uh, new rails have been tried. It's missing the screws off the top and bottom. Stuck fet. Dream Specs got it. It's missing that screw completely. Dream Specs got it. That's knackered. Don't look good for this switch. Uh it should be fixable, mate. Give it a kickstart. Yep, I think so. I'm going to confirm by heating up the switch and seeing if the fan kicks in. But the fan should have kicked in by now. The cold injection fix. Yes, indeed, mate. Yes, indeed. So when you've got an issue with Joy Cons connecting and a bad fan. It's never usually the fan, and it's never usually the Joy-Con rails either. It's normally going to be an issue with the Joy-Con MOSFET. The one that's located just down here on the other side of the board. So that fan should have kicked in by now, and it's not. But I am going to just warm it up a little bit. Go 160. I'm not going to let it get to 160 degrees Celsius. I just want to first of all remove this foam. There you go. And now that there's no heat sink on there, it should definitely have kicked in. SD card was removed, yes or no? Right, let that reboot. And at the same time, I'm just going to heat up the CPU directly. Just to see if the fan kicks in. And that's probably going to tell me that it's overheating in a second. Yeah, there you go. Console's too hot. Fan's not kicking in and it is plugged in. Okie dokie. It's not a stuck fan. I just need to turn it back on. And log in. There you go. And. Now what I'm going to do. 
without even taking the board out, I'm going to set my bench power supply to 4 volts. So uh, my bench power supply is basically going to allow me to inject voltage. I'm going to pop the black probe on ground. And the red probe, I'm just going to go... ring a dink 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 and inject 4 volts for a split second into the bottom pin. And now the fan's spinning. Ring a dink dink dink. Fan spin. And now, let's see. Ding. Is it going to charge a Joy-Con? Probably not. Actually, I don't know if it charges when the uh, console's not charging. Oh, there we go. It's charging that side now. That Joy-Con rail is dodgy, though. Unless it's my Joy-Con, but I don't think it is. Did that open a MOSFET? Um, yeah, it reset the MOSFET, yeah, basically. Yeet. Is that going to charge? No, it's not even going to connect. Because she be dead. I think that Joy-Con rail is dodgy, but it is connecting with that Joy-Con and charging it now. But I think that Joy-Con rail needs doing as well. Let's have a look at that Joy-Con rail underneath the microscope a second. Haha, -ha, well that would explain why the MOSFET failed. Do you see what I see? I see corrosion. I see corrosion. That's why the MOSFET failed. She's been water damaged. Crack on and clean, replace it. Yep. Either clean, if that don't work, I'll replace it. So a bit of OPI on the toothbrush. And just scrub it. That might be a bit too far gone, though. It might need replacing anyway. Yeah, I think that's too far gone. New rail and build for it. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's probably going to connect to Joy-Con now, but... Well, maybe not. Alright, let's replace that rail. I'll inspect the other rail in a second as well. Yeah, have a good night, Chris. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. Honestly, I probably won't even build for the rail, to be fair. Well, it costs like three quid each. Probably won't add anything onto it, on for it. I'll just use a used one. Oh, damn it, I didn't even... Hey! Thank you, Term Killer. Have a good night, buddy. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it, mate. By the way, if anyone has got Twitch Prime, uh, has got Amazon Prime, and you create an account on Twitch and follow me on there, you can subscribe via Twitch Prime absolutely free. So if you want to support me and you've got Amazon Prime, ha! <laughs> Is that charging a Joy-Con now? Well, there you go. I don't even need to replace it. It's absolutely fine. It's charging a Joy-Con. Oh no. Alright, I'll still need to replace it. He's got a disconnect issue. Um, well, that's a shame. Do -do 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 -do. Hey, Rob. Thank you, mate. I appreciate that. This is actually a brand new rail. What I'm about to put in here. Dread, thank you, mate. I appreciate that. Mr. Rob, thank you, thank you, thank you, mate. I appreciate the sub. It all does support the channel. Keeps me going. Video production and streaming is not cheap. It is not cheap. Right, 
that works. It's charging that. And now we'll disconnect. Happy days. It is full charge though. So it's stopped charging now. It comes up and shows how it's charging while it's recognising how much battery pair it's got. But there we go. Done. Job done. Just gotta put it back together. Another job done. Can you fix a micro penis? I could. I mean, if I could, I'd have fixed my own. <laughs> if I could, I'd have fixed my own. But hey, it's not my fault. I blame my dad. When he snipped the tip, he took too much. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I couldn't have a, a circumcision. There'd be nothing left. Warranty sticker. Right. Let's restart the console. Do, 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 do. Happy days. Why is that one not registering now? What's going on? Why is that one not registering now? Single right Joy-Con or are you just flexing the full sets? Uh, I don't know mate. Um, I'd have to have a look. I think I've just got full sets but I'd have to, I'd have to look. Is that just a software glitch because it It says how it's charging when it's on there. What? Do you repair CPUs? Uh, no, mate. Why is that not working that side now? All I've done is put it back together. I bet my have farted after the reboot. Um, no, because it's charging it. Mm, then again, that... Oh, fuck's sake. The damn thing weren't closed. Why you connected the first time, I'll never know. <laughs> Lol. Lol. I think... Don't you... Oh. Really? I'll plug it back in. It's... Oh, I'm going to get real mad in a minute. Really? Same rail, huh? the FET. It's not because it's charging the other one. But it's connecting the other side. No problems with it charging them ones. It is annoying though when you've just screwed everything back in and now you've got to take it all back apart for the second time. Well, three times in total. Right, 
it is just super annoying especially when I'm wasting a warranty sticker every single friggin time <sighs> I think it's actually this Joy-Con rails damaged. It's been damaged by the person who messed with it last. Like it just don't look great at all. It looks mangled. So I think that's probably the cause of that. I'll say probably that's most likely the cause of that. They're very weak. They're really not, mate. They're really not. They're not that weak at all. Not the flex cable. But maybe the Joy-Con pins, but not the flex cable. Flex cable is fine. Just as someone thinks it's funny to make my life a misery. That's all. Travis did it. Yeah, that sounds about right, mate. That one's going to troll me. I think that one's faulty. No, it's not. It's just it's already it's already synced up. That's what it is. It's connected. There you go. Double charge him. Nah, I should have noticed it. Yeah, it is connecting up. Alright. What about that one? Yeah. 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 Cool. I'm taking that as a win. Can't get the Ethernet port to release on a 1X. Ooh, rough. That the other day. Yeah, it is what it is, mate. It happens. I tried my best, that's the main thing. Right, they're both connecting. Fans are working job done so yeah whenever these whenever these have a Joy-Con connection issue you also need to look into whether the fans spinning so if you're gonna if you're gonna replace the Joy-Con rails before you do that just take the fan off uh, or rather not take the fan off take the heat sink off and then just run the switch for a little minute for a minute or two before you go out buying new rails because most of the time if both of the Joy-Con rails are not charging, the Joy-Cons, or they're not connecting, or they're not connecting when they're dead, when the Joy-Cons are dead, chances are you've got a fan issue, and the chances are it's a MOSFET issue. So, yeah. Happy days. Didn't have to really do much to it in terms of getting that working. And then it was just a case of getting those Joy-Con rails swapped out. Happy days. Right, I'm going to go and grab a fresh cup of coffee because this one's going to be empty in about 30 seconds. Or less. So I'm going to go and grab a fresh cup of coffee and the last job of the night. I'll be back. Not doing bad though. Three jobs, three hours. Streaming for three hours and twelve minutes, and we've done three three repairs. Not doing bad at all. <laughs> 